Good afternoon, YouTubers. I apologize for the previous video where I had almost some partial butt crack hanging on. I'm trying to keep this a family channel. Well, get your stopwatches out and see how fast it takes a cheap bastard to get a tire off a rim with old timer tools. First thing you gotta get the air out of the tire. The expedient way is channel locks because this valve's probably been in it since I bought it off the other guy, so I'm going to trash that. I'm going to keep the plastic cap though because that, that you, you lose those when you get air at the gas station or you're, you know, you're, you're messing around, you lose them. That'll go in my pocket. And hopefully this will come out with one easy move. Yeah, let's get around that way here. Oh, baby. We got hemorrhoids that's cooling relief. Start on the back side of the tire. Back side and the dark side of the moon. Old time bead, bead breaker here. Got to get up to the top position. Zola. I didn't catch the hook on there's a hook on here I got to catch the rim on this hook here I got to get on a solid piece of cement not a wiggly piece too okay okay we got it caught this time On you bastard break yeah. get, get my 190 pounds of force on here yeah. all right she's going PB Blaster, good stuff. Good shit. We're trashing this tire so we don't care if it gets oily. I might be trashing this wheel too and trying to find a replacement aluminum. Because these bastards rust. You gotta start giving a little twist and work around, work your way around the rim. Come on, you bastard. You're going. You're going, you bastard. tired. You're not beating the old fart. The old fart's kicking your butt there, piece by piece. There we go, we got it. All right. Flip it over, do the other side. Square it up on your thing so it catches that nubby on the feed breaker. Yeah, let's give it a little lube. Lube helps in all situations. 
especially this PV blaster. No well prize material. Come on. Reset it higher. There she goes. Maybe. Oh, pop. There she popped. Sweet. Sweet baby. That's the hardest part of the process. Get this out of the way. I don't have my favorite tire irons. I don't know what the heck happened to them. They're buried in my garage somewhere. Tire weights, channel locks. Simple as that. Lead don't pay much at the scrap yard. We'll go to this one with a little extra long bar leverage. The key to success, you got to get the bead down in the hole, down in the groove. Once you get it down there, come on. I think I'm doing, oh, no, I got to do the other side first. I screwed up, sorry, tubers. You see the deep, the deep ring here? That's the way you got to go. You got to take that outside off first. Outside goes first. Get that weight out of the way. It ain't going to be in a way marginally. All right. Come on, I go put my feet kind of like a V, and then I get on the other side here. Okay, and then you just gotta keep working that around with another tire. Put your foot down here so it doesn't flop up and break your jaws or your teeth, or mess up your pretty face. Ah. Come on, come on, get in there, you bastard. It helps if you swear at it. All right, we're almost got this side off. And when I go to reassemble them, I just put a little bit of axle grease on them. All right. Call this an aerobic tire removal workout. The hook, the hooky dooky goes, let me see, wherever you can get it in there. I gotta get it the other way, I don't know. Come on, I'll try the other hooky dooky. This bar was made in India. They do a lot of work in India where they do use a lot of hand tools. That's the, as I say, these aren't my favorite tire irons. Make more excuses, Randy. Have another brew. All right, we got it. We got it now. All right. So you hold your foot down here. You push this in and kind of pry and twist and you get the thing to come off the other way. Sure you can. Yeah, I need Go back to the old school here. One with more leverage. Yeah. Get in there. Okay. And you push up that way and you get get a bite on the wheel. There you go. You, you keep going around a little bit at a time. Don't get too greedy and take too much or you'll never get it. Yeah. 
yeah. And keep keep the back hand pressing downward to keep that fold the piece up. Sometimes it'll pop back on you. I got a Harbor Freight um, pry bar that I ground the end smooth so I don't tear up good tires when I do this. And I can't find it for the for the love of the Lord here, but it'll turn up eventually when I go through my garage. All right, we're almost there. I can feel it. I can feel it. It's loosening up. Ah. Sweet success, YouTubers. It can be done with hand tools. Old fired, old technology. Thank you, Jesus, for helping.